Hello everyone, welcome to TechTube.com. In this lecture, we will discuss rank of matrix. So let's get started. Rank of matrix is basically uh, shows that how many number of row vector or column vector which are independent exist in the matrix. So what I want to say here is, let's say we have A11. A one two, A one three, A one four, and so on. Okay, so no rest of the thing you can fill. Okay, so let's suppose we have this matrix. Okay, now if I say that the rank of matrix is four, it means that there are four linearly independent row vector or column vector in this matrix okay so there are these are the column vectors okay and these are the row vectors so if the rank is 4 for this 4 cross 4 matrix it means all the vectors all the vectors whether it is row vector or column vector are independent Okay, so we represent a row of mat uh, rank of matrix by row. Okay, row of A, and how do we calculate it? So, if we have a matrix of M cross N, A is let's say M cross N, then what will be the rank? Rank will be rank of A will be equal to of course the min of minimum of m i mean not equal to less than or equal to rank of this will be less than or equal to minimum of m or n okay similarly if you have a square matrix m cross m then rank of matrix a will be less than or equal to M. Okay. So to be to find rank, a matrix need not to be a square matrix. Fine. Now let's suppose this matrix here, which we took this one. Now what we will do to find out rank of this matrix? Okay. Rank. What we will do? We will start with maximum possible minor size of minor so if we have n cross m matrix then we will see which one is the minimum from among m and n and then we will took the minimum one and try to form the minor of minor of that size for example let's say we have a matrix of size 3 cross 4 okay then in this case we will start with forming the minor of 3 cross 3 in the matrix okay so we will check all the possible minors 3 cross 3 minors and then if we have at least one minor one 3 cross 3 minor which is not equal to 0 then we will say that the rank of matrix A is equal to 3 okay but in other case if all the minors 3 cross 3 minus are equal to 0 all the 3 cross 3 minus are equal to 0 then then rank of matrix A will be less than 3 okay then what we will do we will check for all the possible combination of minus 2 cross 2 okay minus of size 2 cross 2 and we will try to find out if there exists a minor of minor non zero minor okay so if there exists a non zero minor of size 2 cross 2 then we will say the rank is equal to 2 otherwise if all the minors all the minors 2 cross 2 minors are equal to 0 then rank of matrix is less than 2 and we will check for 1 so 1 you can get if it is not a zero matrix i mean all the elements are not zero 
then you will have at least one minor which is not equal to zero and then you will say that the rank is equal to one fine so likewise we used to check we start with the mo maximum possible minor which we can form inside a matrix and gradually we check whether this minor non zero minor exist okay and if the non zero minor of the maximum possible size exist we will say that mo maximum possible size is the rank of matrix if we don't have any such minor then we will go the minor of size minus 1 okay so gradually we will decrease the size of minor and we will check whether there exists a non zero non zero minor if a non zero minor exists we will say that is the rank of matrix right so this is the process of finding out the rank of matrix fine so i hope this is clear uh, this process is actually not used when we go about finding out the minor so we will use some elementary transformation and then we will make this process simpler okay but the concept is same in that case also we are going for the same concept but in different manner so in next lecture we will, we, when we will learn how to find out rank of a matrix we will learn that procedure okay so i hope this is clear thanks for watching